Welcome back, Goblin Chefs. It's your Goblin Master Chef AP Gains here. And if we hop in, we see that we are going to be able to face a well put together Mordor squad. Let's see how good the orcs are. Let's see how good Mordor is. Now, I'm running a pretty standard Goblin, a uh, pretty good GG squad with a Goblin Chef, Blade of the East, uh, our tank, and then Aragorn just because he's our only four star because they're feeding us shards. Now, we know the beta is broken, and I'm probably going to face level one characters. But let's just hope and pray that uh the beta well we're just gonna call it the alpha for now it's, i don't think it's earned the right to be called beta load of the rings heroes of middle level zero characters in pvp right so assuming that we don't play level one characters and they do zero damage and they don't have a health bar and assuming that we can set up special effects this should be an interesting battle because we're going to be running the meta arena team versus um what has the potential to be better because it takes what a hundred shards to unlock the first uh, stage of the uh, Ironhide. All right, so we have the full squad up. Um, now you get Ugluck, Ugluck, and his boy uh, Muher, Mauher. Obviously, my Middle Earth uh, pronunciation is not amazing, so you guys are going to have to uh, give me a little slack. The Mordor Engineer and then the Mordor Taskmaster. So this person has spent a good chunk of change because these characters are very hard to get. And because of the energy glitch, it's very hard to gear people up. So this man has dropped some cash. Uh, but more importantly, we have this iron hide right here, which is pretty thick. Everyone knows from the campaign. So let's give a little smack from our goblin chef. Our, everyone knows that the goblin chef is super fast and does almost no damage on offense. He's only there to heal. But basically, you open up with a basic from the goblin chef to, uh, to indicate your, uh, your desire for blood, if you will. So... Um, we're doing basically nothing, so he seems to be a pretty, pretty durable tank. Um, so we're probably going to not want to solo their one big tank. Obviously, that's not exactly the smartest play in the entire world. So here's what we're going to do. I don't think if I taunt, I'll be able to survive. So let's see who's probably the squishiest. I can't actually target this guy back here because the game doesn't work. Um, but let's go after our Mordor Engineer with a basic. Uh, let's get our, our tank called in there. They always call Aragorn for some reason. I think it's just because of the slot he's in, and I feel like I have to change the positioning of my units to put my uh, my Northern Ranger there, or maybe my uh, Blade of the East. So the Mordor units in the back are kind of squishy, which is at least a little good, uh, because the Ironhide is, uh, <laughs> is, is very much a tank. So I'm thinking that this squad is probably at low gear, not going to be super good. Um, now, that, that just for clarification, I do have one of the stronger GGs in the game. Um, his ability tiers are basically as far as they can go at the level that they allow us to play in the beta. Um, he is gear 6 or something like that. I don't even know what gear he is, but he's, he's relatively strong. Um, I think he's almost gear 7. Uh, but most importantly, his ability materials are leveled up quite a bit, so... Um, he's going to hit hard. My other characters are okay. Now, obviously, we haven't been able to do much in the beta, so gearing characters up is not exactly on our side since we can't really play at the moment. Um, I'm hoping that they patch some glitches within the next couple of weeks or maybe close the beta off um, or something. I honestly, at this point, I don't know what they should do to fix the beta because it's in a pretty sorry state. But it is good to see that the, uh, the orcs are... Not necessarily the strongest, but if they could get some gear, I feel like they need a tank. I feel like if they can get one of the trolls to tank, I think they're going to be good. Now, obviously, you guys have done the campaign, and these guys are thick as hell. So if this guy was maybe purple gear or whatever, uh, maybe gear 8, he would be a little bit stronger. But he's slow. He hits hard. He just took a turn and did absolutely nothing. I didn't even notice if he was stunned or not. Um... But yeah, so I guess just not <laughs> basically confirming that GG is still, you know, I mean, maybe if he threw a GG on this squad, he'd be in a little bit better spot. I think you can't really have a PvP squad in this game without a uh, tier 3 heal goblin chef and as maxed of a uh, great goblin as humanly possible. Now we're going to keep climbing, we're going to keep climbing, keep climbing. The problem is I get sniped all the time, and there's days where I don't play because there's no reason to play the beta. So I fall and fall and fall and fall and fall. Um, but pretty good, pretty good stuff.